today we start our scent work classes. I think it's scent work. I was looking on YouTube last night for examples of what this looks like. There's way too much stuff. I was confused. But there was one video about how scent work and nose work are different. So apparently they're different. I don't know. Um, and I emailed the instructor last night and asked, like, how do I know it's my turn to come in? Because only one dog is in the building at a time. And I can't leave them unattended in here. At least not Clark. So anyway, uh, she said, no, I, the human, have to stay in the building the entire time. I'm like, oh, okay. So she's actually bringing a crate for me to crate one of the dogs inside. However, if Clark is the one left in here, well, no, actually, yeah, if Clark's left in here, if they're both in here and Clark's in the crate, you can see him back there in the crate then that's fine because Scarlett's not going to get through. She's just too little. So actually, I might not need to... Why was I so confused about this? Probably just trying to switch them out of the crate is going to be hard. And I, I couldn't reach their stairs, so I had to lift them up. I don't know how many times they go in and out in a class. So up to two hours in the instructions, it said. So I have two BPOs to do really fast because I have forgotten to do them since Thursday. Um, so that's great. It's one's 45 and one's 35, so 80 bucks. Not bad for a Sunday, especially since I spent all that money on the break room yesterday. So I'm going to run and get those really fast. Jim just stopped home from the store and Olivia is alone. She is in the mudroom and she was actually baying and I missed it. <clears throat> These dogs don't ever bay, um, but she's that upset. She's having an absolute tantrum. Okay. She knows the other dog's about to leave, so he's given her another bed and a bunch of chew stuff and a little CBD treat and hopefully she'll calm down because I'm with the neighbor complaining. All right, well, I'm off to do photos and I cannot wait to start this class today. I'm not a turkey expert. I'm not sure if this is a, a fun dance or a fighting dance. Nobody's yelling, so I don't know. Huh. Do you see them, Clark? One seems to clearly have its mouth around the other one's head. Okay, let's get these. What are these weird things to run? Hey guys, I need to turn around. You're kind of in my way. Is that one hurt? I hope it's not hurt. Okay, I think you guys should stop it. This looks like a, potentially some violence. I don't know the difference between boy and girl turkeys. Are they mating? What is happening here? I think you guys should let go of each other. Why are they so quiet in there? They're fighting, I don't know. silent little dance they're doing. Come on out, Clark. Find it. Find it. Yay. Good job. I'm just going to move the lid and get it myself. Doesn't need any help with that, huh? Good job, Clark. Good job, buddy. Come here. Come on. Get it going. Hey, I'm going to pull away and you're... You're going to pay attention. You're going to pay attention? Find it. Find it. She's, she's a pig. She finds. Good job, Scarlett. Oh, yeah, good job. Well, that was fun. Um, sarcasm. Halfway. Let's see, what was great? Scarlett and Clark are, of course, very good at finding food. I mean, that's, that's as I said, but taking a bass at how to scent work is cheating or nose work. Um, turned my ringer off because I was going to be there and having fun. Oh, my God, it was chaos. So I just have to figure out how to fix it all. Um, First I let Clark out and his leash was looped in the crate and I was gonna break my finger so I let go and he took off for a busy road. So luckily Scarlett can't jump at all. She stayed, I closed the lid, ran after Clark and got him. So that was chaos number one. Chaos number two was I turned my phone off so I could be in the moment and then I checked it halfway through, which was my fault, and Jasmine had called. So 
I called Jasmine. She didn't answer. I texted her. I'm like, hey, I'm in a class. What's up? Oh, yeah. Well, apparently a snake we were babysitting got out. And I'm thinking, well, Jasmine's not at work. So Sophie called her. But why are you calling me? What? What do you? I'm not there. Like, what? Thank you. I don't know. That was weird. So basically, yeah, we are babysitting a hawk nose and it got out. So I am angry and clearly we're not responsible enough to take care of anybody else's animals. So I'm discontinuing our boarding offerings because we're irresponsible. That's just what it boils down to. We don't even take care of, you know, all the stuff we're supposed to be taking care of. The animal didn't have a care card. Nobody had been signing off on visually seeing it every day. It's like, God, I just, I made up these care cards. They get printed. They're very nice. They're very simple and they don't get used. Just, so that was that. Then I'm talking to the gym on the phone while there's like a huge lap between Scarlett and Clark. And I look at the front seat and oh, Scarlett busted out of the gate. So that stupid gate back there does not work at all. God, so she ripped up a cheeseburger wrapper that I had up here from lunch. I did not have any fries. And got dog hair and mm. So then I put her in a crate because the instructor brought a crate in case I needed to use it inside. Put her in there, but I had to then stand in the back of the room where I couldn't see and I could just hear because Scarlett would whine if I, it is very stressful. Uh, and then I was outside, then it was Clark's turn next, so I switched them. And then Clark and I walked around a little bit, and then um, I was putting Clark back in the car and getting Scarlett out, because I timed it, I figured three minutes per people. I was getting out, and the lady comes out, we're waiting for Scarlett, I'm like, crap, how rude, I was holding up the group, that's not cool. Anyway, my knee hurts because I had to chase Clark. And I'm so frustrated because I wanted to have a nice fun time with my dogs today. I actually made butternut squash soup in the slow cooker this morning. I put a meal in the sous vide because Jim doesn't like it. I mean, I was on my game. I'm on my third load of laundry. So now I'm going to take the dogs home, drop them off, and go back to the store and try to search for a freaking hog nose. Ugh! I just can't even. The tank that the people brought has a gap in the screen. It's like, okay, we should have not... They should have not brought that tank. We should have noticed it and done something about it, move the snake into another tank. I don't know, something, but I can't let my staff be responsible for other people's animals. I mean, I might consider boarding at my house. No, no. Maybe I'll look up how much money we made last year on it, minus whatever I'm gonna have to pay these people for losing their snake. God. I hate it so I hate every day. I absolutely hate every freak. Every day, there's something bad. Just every single day. And that's obviously a management problem. Just like the fact that, oh yeah, we did $1.7 million last year. $1.7 million. And what was our profit? Well, I'm sure we're gonna show a loss on paper. Yeah, that's called mismanagement. Something's going very wrong here. And I can't figure out what it is. And it's been almost eight years of me not being able to figure out what it is. But back then, we were doing like 700,000 a year. So now we've added a million and we're still not making any money? That's ridiculous. I'm just so frustrated. I'm gonna have a headache soon. God. All right, well, I'll take these dogs home and go find a snake, I hope.